Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Kicking Back after a very long, well-needed break. We're all back and today joined by the core team, Emma, Kirsten, minus Ollie. And today we are joined by a new Kickback member, Abby and Heather, who is here in spirit. So I just kind of wanted to kick this episode off today with... um, just Abby, um, if you could introduce yourself and kind of what your role is um, as a part of the Kickback team and kind of just tell us a little bit about you and what theatre you enjoy creating. I think I'm frozen. Am I back? You're back. I can hear you. Wonderful. Great. Hi, everyone. I'm waving, but you can't see me. Um, yeah, so I'm Abby, pronoun she, her, and I am a budding stage manager. Um, I've just graduated from the University of Birmingham, like a lot of people are in kickback. Yeah, and so I'm going on to do a master's in stage management and I hope to keep pursuing the sort of stage management and production side of theatre um, going forwards. Um, yeah, I'm really sort of interested in sort of new weird theatre that's sort of breaking the rules, things that you don't really expect, uh, things like immersive theatre, queer theatre, um, the theatre that doesn't follow the conventional mould. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of interested in lots of different things. I'm trying to get my hands on all kinds of different experiences and opportunities. And I'm so excited to be working with Kickback. Yeah, we're so excited to have you and kind of like welcome you to the team. It's going to be... I. I feel like your are going to be great. Um, but yeah, obviously building off of the fact that we have Abby and Heather as new members of Kickback, obviously we've kind of had a little bit of a little bit of a rebrand as well with kind of like the new logos, Kickback Digital, Kickback Live. Emma, Kirsten, could you kind of tell us a little bit more about the Kickback rebrand, kind of like what that's going to include? Do you want to kick us off, Kirsten? <laughs> okay um yeah so I think um we kind of decided back after I don't know what else to say um to kind of have a little bit of rebranding um and just now that we're getting um kind of the hand of a company a bit more um just to like solidify what we're doing um and so this is kind of where um the rebranding has come back so we still have we've got kickback live and then we've got kickback digital I think that's correct. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Um, so, yeah, so you can see we've got um, all our lovely new logos and things, which have been designed um, by Mia, and then Ollie's had a little bit of like say in that too, which has been pretty cool. Um, it's very creative and artsy. I definitely leave that more <laughs> to, to them. Graphic design is not really what I do. Um, but yeah, I think Kickback Digital um, kind of does what it says in the tin, and that'll be kind of responsible for overseeing um, all our digital. Um, like productions and things so that's where um you know the podcast is going to fall into and um oh gosh the name's escaped me yeah kicking back uh our podcast and then other like digital projects um so you know how we had out of our minds um and love shop um that will come under uh kickback digital from that branch too um so yeah so that's kind of that side and then yeah kickback live will kind of pursue live theater um but it's great because it now means we've got kind of a clear distinction of um you know what's with what um and you know keeps the two sides kind of nice and neatly together and um, showing what we're doing um particularly now as we kind of come out of university and are just navigating um how things are gonna go now and how things are gonna happen um it's helping us have like a clear vision um of what we want and where we want kick back to go so that's kind of the aim um of this rebranding the purpose um but yeah i don't know emma if you want to jump in and add anything else there about this stuff out. no no i mean that's that's a that's kind of really why we wanted to do it um i guess because i mean particularly as new graduates like we've now found that we're all in different parts of the country uh and some oh. of us are not even in the same continent um so we kind of wanted to make the company structure as clear as possible both for ourselves and for you guys so you know what's going on what bits happening and mainly so we know what's going on and who's doing what and everything um but yeah it's just it's a cute little like thing that we can just chuck on things basically yeah it's so exciting and also the website looks so snazzy and jazzy now i see you ollie very very cool so you know you should check that out if you're if you're watching this 
but yeah kind of like building off what you, what you guys have said about the rebrand and stuff um what are you most looking forward to in the future for kickback is there something you're particularly excited about now you don't have to go into too much depth because i know a lot of a lot of it's very harsh harsh at the minute but is there anything you're particularly looking forward to also abby as well is there anything that you're looking forward to as a new member of kickback anything you're really kind of like hoping you get to do I mean, other than get paid, like <laughs> <laughs> get that <Yeah>. bank. <laughs> I think some sort of money is a priority for this season. Um, we genuinely do not care how much we will pay ourselves like a fiver, but as long as we're paying ourselves this season, that's our big aim. Um, but we've got some really cool. I mean, we just opened digital submissions again, which I'm excited to see. Um, you know, inviting new people in and excited to see what happens with that. Uh, and then Live has a project that we're hoping to take to some cool places that hasn't been announced yet um, that we're, we're starting to work on that's very, very cool. And I'm, I'm just most excited for that, man. It's <laughs> it's just that it's a show. It's a cool piece. Um, and it's like right in its baby stages right now. So I'm excited to see where that goes. Yeah, I'll, I'll jump in. I'm not sure if Abby is with us still or not. Um, yeah, no, she's um she's traveling back from back from fringe, um, which is really cool. But no, I'm just um I'm excited for this kind of new season that we're going into. I think things are gonna be like a little bit different and there's definitely new challenges to kind of overcome now. Um, like we said, people are in different places, um, far and wide. Um, but it's it's really nice that uh, everyone's still very motivated and enthusiastic and kind of wants to keep pursuing. And I think that will really help drive the company forward. And I think having these kind of new challenges and um, not having the comfort zone of university in the same way um, is really scary um, in parts and especially like in individual life, but also kind of being able to now navigate for a new chapter, I guess. I, I think that's I think that's quite exciting, um, and especially because we're all kind of at like the same level, even if we're doing different things. Um, it's nice to have something that's grounding and bringing us all together that we can focus on uh, and be enthusiastic about. So yeah. Yeah, sick. Uh Abby, yeah, um, did you catch any of that? Um, what are you looking forward yeah. to in the I'm quite similar to Emma. I think I'm really looking forward to sort of broadening the horizons of, you know, the projects that we that we do and the, the people that we work with. So at the moment we sort of had a very small pool of people, mainly from the university or university adjacent that we've been working with. And I'm sort of looking forward to sort of expanding that circle of people, working with real professionals, you know, with the opportunity for monetary, um, you know, being able to pay people and ourselves. <laughs> um, and also I think being able to, to sort of push new ideas, you know, keep pushing new original pieces the theatre things that we find important things that we want to see in the world um, and working on things that I think is particularly important is pushing the sustainability of the company and making sure that's sort of one of our key things at the heart of the heart of the company but yeah just kind of looking forward to seeing where we go expanding from here on after university and sort of seeing what we can achieve out in the real world yeah Hell yeah. Amazing. Thank you for that. Um, but yeah, it's all looking all looking very exciting for the for the future of Kickback. And obviously, Emma, you kind of spoke about it briefly before, but we have a new baby project in the works. Um, could you tell everyone a little bit about that? Obviously, without spoilers, without spoiling anything too majorly. Oh, but gosh. OK. Um, yeah, it is a live piece. Uh, it is a new piece of writing slash devising, I guess. Um, it's classic kickback in the sense that we're trying to like tackle issues that affect our kind of leading demographic. Um, I don't know what else. I don't know what else to say. Really gave us a a clear idea of who interacts with our stuff, and so we kind of we're looking at that demographic and thinking about what we want to see and conversations we want to have and we kind of married this fun piece it should be a happy one it should be a positive one as I'm aware our body of work is quite sad right now um, <laughs> in a good way in a really like it's like oddly hopeful but this one should be hopefully more empowering 
should I say, and uh, positive. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. I don't know how much I can say because I don't I don't know <laughs> what's going on. You you said enough, and I mean I'm sure like as the months go on, like people like our audiences will find out more and more about this project as it comes to fruition. So yeah, watch this space, guys. Um, very exciting. Um, but yeah, talking about projects, Kirsten. Um, obviously we are currently searching for our for um our next kickback digital project. Um, because the applications are open. Um, yeah, could you kind of tell our audiences um, a little bit about that and um, what kind of piece do you hope that we work on next? Is there like a specific theme or concept that you're really hoping someone just sends in? Okay, um, so yeah, so Kickback Digital, um, we've had two projects through that now. So we had Out of Your Mind um, by Jazz um, and then Love Shot by James. Uh, and so they were kind of different, Out of Your Mind. Um, you see it's on YouTube, uh, it was like a, a short kind of film um, looking at dissociation, um, which was really, really cool. Um, I helped produce that with Ollie. And then we had Love Shot, which was more of like a gaming website by James. Um, so as you can see, we've got like two different projects um, so far that have come through digital. Um, and basically the kind of aim of Kickback Digital um, is to kind of invite people to create projects for us and we'll help them with the resources and the people that we have. Um, and we're really looking for kind of any ideas. I think the aim was like not to be limiting um, and we want to see music, we want to see art, we want to see, you know, we want to see gaming, like online films. Um, and they're just short pieces really. Um, they don't need to be more than 20 minutes. Like we're not looking for like full scale productions. And usually the timeline's about three months, you know, depending on like what you can do and not like and produce in that time. Um, and it's just it's just about being creative really and a bit different. And it's and the reason for also doing digital, it just means that we can reach a lot more people and it's more accessible. Um, I think one of the main things is with the digital is we do want to have stuff that is accessible to people um, because it it doesn't like it's not live theater it's not like we're asking for tickets and people buying things in the same way and it means you know all these friends now in America and like people here in England like everyone has got access um to it so it's really cool but oh I'm not sure there's like a particular theme or anything that I'd want to necessarily be seeing but I guess it'd be really cool to like get something different again um I think we've been talking about like you know music and artwork kind of coming through so I guess I'd love to be reading some applications with that in mind but that said um I was I always love reading through people's applications and ideas um you know and seeing what people can create because it's just really nice to be reaching like wider people and getting things from people we've not worked with before and I think that's really um important so yeah um I think if you want to apply uh, and you want to write an application but you've got questions then please don't hesitate to get in contact because we'd love to speak to you um and check out some of the work that we've already been doing um if you kind of want to get an idea of like the breadth and scope of things that have been done before but um as Ollie always says like no ideas off the table like we're willing to kind of work um with anything everything um and yeah so yeah I feel like if you've got questions then definitely definitely give us a shout but yeah you just surprised that really well <laughs> like, you did my job for me amazing <laughs> so, like, um yeah i guess um emma abby are there are there any concepts that you guys might want to do digital wise as well i just thought i'd throw that out there if you want to <laughs> oh gosh i mean as as Kirsten said, like we're all super open to absolutely anything that you've got going on. Um, even if you originally imagined it as like a live thing that you wanted to do at uni and maybe never got the chance to, and then you kind of bring it to us as a digital piece, like that would be really, really cool as well, just to kind of we work with you to make it like accessible and digital and and get real creative. Um I don't know. I just I've been really intrigued by audio work. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, if you do an audio piece, you're absolutely because that's like it's like not the case. But I just think it's just cool. You can just do something in your bedroom with like you just put something on like music and art and so I don't know. I don't know, man. Just anything. <laughs> All of the submissions we've had have just been so cool. So it's like, oh, it's people doing cool things. That's I'm not as good as Kirsten in summary. <laughs> <laughs> 
Abby, how about you? Anything specific, like concept, theme-wise, that you want to be working on digitally? Oh, I don't know if there's a specific thing. I think I'm just really excited to see what people come up with. And I think probably the most important thing for me is that people come up with something that they're passionate about and something that they really want to see through to the end. And I think that's because you, when you're working on a piece, when you see a piece of digital theatre or digital performance or something, you can see how much someone is passionate about and cares about that piece of work. And I think that really comes through. And I, so I think that's more important than what exactly the specific concept is concept or context of the pieces is whether this, this person is really excited about what they want to create and whether, whether they can get us excited about it as well um but mm. i'm just i'm just really excited to see what people come up with Amazing. thank you so much amazing so yeah i mean like kirsten said if you are interested or you have questions feel free to shoot us um, those questions via email look at our website follow the link in our bio to check out and submit your ideas and we can't wait to hear all of them um but yeah that that was my that was my final question so that kind of wraps up this episode how are we all feeling we're all, we all good it's yeah it's yeah. good to be back. Yeah. It is good to be good. back. <laughs> good to be back, baby. And obviously, Abby, thank you so much for joining us. And obviously, we're so glad to have you as part of the team. It's going to be, yeah, I'm excited to see what we do as a team next. It's, it's going to be great. Um, Me too. Yeah. I'm so excited. It's going to be great. Also, I hope your journey back from the fringe is okay and that you survive. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we start our coach journey started at 8.45 in the morning and it's now half one. Um, <laughs> so we've been down here for quite a while and we're scheduled to get to Birmingham at about quarter past six. So we've still got quite a long way to go. Um, but this this Zoom podcast recording has really, really been the highlight of my journey. So uh, we're still so sleeping bad. until now. Um, so thank you guys. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're doing so well. We're all so proud of you. Maybe have a nap after this. <laughs> might make time go quicker. But... I, I might go back to sleep. Yeah, no, you should, honestly. <laughs> get in, get in, Mosies. All right, okay. But yeah, that is the end of this kicking back episode. And we will see you next time, fellow kickbackies. See you, see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>